be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely helps out the channel and lets me know that we're making the right content for you. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Now today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the quickest way to arrange a hip hop beat into song format. So let's first off go ahead and play the beat and then we're gonna arrange it in song format in Logic Pro 10, the quickest way. So let's go ahead and jump right in on how we're going to do this, okay? Actually, we only have four different parts. How are we going to get all of those different sections made? Well, in Logic Pro 10, you can do a couple different things. This is actually uh, called the workspace window right here. If I was to highlight this and then just basically map this uh, out throughout here, it's basically going to coordinate with time, um, you know, different time elements. So, for instance, if I was to change this right here to be some time, I can see now it's in minutes, uh, hours, minutes, and seconds. And so basically you want this to be at least, uh, I would say two and a half minutes to three and a half minutes long for today's songs. So what we'll do though is um, the quickest way to do this is gonna be to, to push Command uh, R after you highlight everything and then just push it maybe about 10 times, okay? And for the intro, you basically don't want any drums and just want like one melody part. So it would probably start off like this. And like I said, uh, an intro could be four to eight bars or so. If you wanted to have a more extended intro, you want this uh, intro to build up. So what we can probably do is go ahead and introduce like the bass element um, or even this other part. So we'll just introduce this bass element. And see, basically in Logic, what you want to do is you want to play around with what's going to be going next by muting it here and then finalizing it in the workspace window. So how you finalize in the workspace window is just click on or highlight whatever you want to mute out and then push Control M. So you'll see the process as we go from here. So like these pro these uh, different parts of the beat we don't want. So we're going to push Control M and now it mutes it in the workspace window. So process again is just going to be you highlight everything and then uh, basically extend it out here, make copies of it, and then you're going to mute out different parts that you don't want for different sections of the song. So we're going to build our intro. Basically, um, it's going to start off like this, and then it's going to build to the uh, bass and then the hook. bet so that's going to be our intro um the hook is going to be actually simple because it's pretty much going to be everything all your instruments together so basically i'm just going to leave it as is here for the eight bars after that we're going to go right back into our verse and what i'm going to do is i'm going to mute out the uh, drums for the first half of the verse uh, and then we're going to bring the drums back in on the second half and what we'll do too is we'll just be alternating the different parts of this song And then pretty much once you have your verse, your once you have your intro, your hook, and your verse, pretty much you're gonna just um, um, highlight, 
like your your hook and your verse and then just push command R and that's going to create another copy of everything. So now you have basically two verses and you could just end the song with the intro, okay? So I can take that command uh, C, paste this over here with the uh, playhead and that could be the song. Now we could just basically make sure that it's going to be long enough by looking up here and it is and that's going to be the song right there so let's just check it out and make sure it you know flows right All right, y'all, so that's pretty much the video. Just want to uh, overview it again. Basically what we did, um, you know what? We started with our eight bar loop. We took it, used Command R to make copies of it, spread it out, and then we used um, Control M to mute out the different parts within the workspace window. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have our different sections. We have our intro. We have our chorus, we have our verses, and this is the one part of the verse, this is the second part of the verse. And it ends, extends all the way out to about three minutes. Basically you have two verses and three choruses and one intro and one outro. All right, and that's just the simplest and quickest way to um, basically arrange your hip hop beats into song format. Now, if you want more videos like this, all you gotta do is to subscribe and then also go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video. Also, just to let you know, we do have full-fledged video courses that have hours of content in them that you can purchase on our website, beatmakingbasics.com. We also have loop packs and sound kits like drum kits and stuff like that that you can download from the site as well. 
Make sure you go to the site, check, check out what's going on there, and make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.